Dark Matthew Silver here bringing you Redbird's new promotion, the Red Admiral. This came with Aquila and Mario Bone update, so that means that he gets promoted beyond level 50. If I remember correctly, it's level 50, 55. Yeah. When he gets promoted, he gains a lot of new stuff. I mean, a lot. It takes an hour to it takes an hour to the promotion quest, but to me it was worth it. Well, to me, to me that is. To others, probably not. His new appearance is that he gains a massive handguard, along with a new design, a new design on his sword, which now looks like a giant cleaver to me. He also gains a hook, which I'm not sure if he had before, but I'm pretty sure he did not have before. He also has a gun around his waist this time, which he never uses. Don't ask me why, but it's probably because of his hook. Which, I don't know why he is. I don't know why he even had that. But, whatever. The first new move he gains is his trend song, which I used last turn. And it reduces damage from melee attacks being stabby, slashy, and smashy by 25% for 5 turns. To me, it's useful because it's just like Barnabas's friend song, so it's meant for tankiness. Meaning he, he can actually stay on the front lines. Possibly. I'm not really sure. But anyways, it's meant for tankage, obviously. And so that makes it so that he has to be in the front lines. <laughs> the next thing he gains is the Buccaneer Smash, which he used this turn. And it reduces accuracy and agility by 50% while doing damage. Its damage is the same as Redbridge's regular damage, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, obviously you. He's, it needs to be used on muskets and uh, and or squashbucklers. Okay. The, or his final thing he gains is this, is this move called Clear the Dex. AoE knockback move. Very dangerously powerful. And you can also screw your opponents up pretty badly. Yeah, especially with criticals. Like that. The reason why uh, my favorite is because first of all it's AoE, second of all it's knockback, and third of all it can be pretty freaking damaging. And sorry if I talk too fast because I have that habit. But yeah. In terms of his usefulness in PvP, because of the whole uh, musket thing, he probably won't be all that useful in PvP because the old parts get shot to death. Just like most companions nowadays. This critical does not change at all in wow, okay. Wild Holy! Dang, that was overkill. Well, yeah. Is that, is critical is, does that change at all for obvious reasons? And, uh, well, yeah. Nothing, nothing good to talk about there. In terms of his epics, you probably should give him hold the line 3, not, not 3, 2. Just so you can screw up multiple squashbucklers. If you can, that is. Because that's what the hold the line is meant to do, it's meant to screw up squashbucklers. But, other than that, there's, your parents can just choose Will and Nelly with Vapor for his epics. And look, this battle is about to end, so I'm gonna end the video right here. Subscribe to Team Envy Nation for videos, and also check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Central for information. This is Dark Matthew Silver, and I'll see you next time.